Hailed as one of the world's biggest stars in Hollywood, as well as Hong Kong. Gaining widespread fame, receiving fame stars, on the Hong Kong Avenue of Stars, and the Hollywood Walk of Fame. He has also met with a lot of controversy regarding his stance on many political issues, yet no one can doubt his recognizable and influential personality, and his innovation in cinematic action and stunt work. Born as Chan Kong Sang, his stage name is known around the world as Jackie Chan. Jackie is known for his slapstick acrobatic fighting style, and of course, comedy and innovative stunts, which he explicitly acknowledged inspiration from Charlie Chaplin. He was trained in Wushu and Hapkido, which informed all of his action and stunt work in movies since the 1960s. Jackie was also an operatically trained vocalist and is also a canto pop and a mando pop star, having released albums and theme songs for a few of his films in which he starred in. He is also a well-known philanthropist. Now, all of that is important to point out, because despite Jackie being known as a big star in both Eastern and Western hemispheres, he never intended to be the next iconic martial artist, in the same vein as Bruce Lee. Which makes sense considering his rather more entrepreneurial work and political affiliations that garnered some not-so-kindly reactions from his fans. Unlike Jackie, Bruce Lee faced a rather different experience that contrasts Jackie's legacy. So out of all the opinions Jackie Chan has on the Hong Kong protest and the sort, it was rather smart for Jackie to have no further comment on Bruce Lee's legacy, separating himself from comparison. But I think Jackie is at least following in Bruce Lee's footsteps in terms of being a role model for Asian representation. The one peculiar thing I found about Jackie's reputation as a stunt artist was that his work at one point was often accused as being fake. Now, martial arts presented in film has never intended to be realistic or applicable to real-life situations. After all, it is a work of fiction, and it really depends on the direction and style the director intended for that film. In Jackie's case, martial arts is purely meant for show, and not a guide for practical self-defense. But one amazing thing I do remember growing up was the cartoon show Jackie Chan Adventures, where Jackie's persona has been fictionalized in a world of martial arts blended with fantasy. His character and likeness was of course voiced by somebody else. As a fan, it's quite amazing picking up on references that other Jackie Chan fans see, such as one episode where Jackie, quote unquote, becomes poisoned by a scratch of a cursed cat statue, and he continues fighting. So his fighting style was mimicked to resemble the drunken fist, an homage to Jackie Chan's drunken master. The show became a childhood pastime, being able to see a famous Chinese star being a positive influence to kids, especially kids like me were at the time of this show's original run. Thank you. 